ago was talking about the, uh, the basketball game that she scored 63 points and I was very fortunate enough to coach Tysel for two years, the two years that she was at Felician College. Tysel came to us from the University of Arizona and recruiting takes on a lot of different forms at the college level and many times you spend weeks, months going to see a, a player play their sport, talk to them on the phone, email them, what, whatever the case would be to try to entice them to come to your school. Um, I received an email from Tysel probably in April, after our season had ended, our basketball season had ended, and she says to me that, uh, through the email, that she played at the University of Arizona and was a two-year starter, and that she was interested, uh, you know, led the Pac-10 in assists one year, and was interested in transferring to Felicia. And my first instinct was, someone is definitely playing a joke, this is not real. Um, I texted a, a, a call a friend of mine, um, and I said, there's, you know, there's no way this you know, Pac-10, Arizona, she's gonna come to Felicia. So, what the heck, we decide to respond to the email. So I write her and say that, you know, I'm very interested in, you know, having a conversation, and if, you know, you're serious, uh, you know, love, love to have you, you know, be a member of our team. And I sent that email at about 8 o'clock at night, and the following morning I had an email back from Tyson. And we went back and had conversations back and forth, and sure enough, this girl was, was very interested. Um, she was... She was recruited out of high school um, by the assistant coach at the University of Arizona. And she and the head coach never really hit it off. And the assistant coach ended up leaving Arizona and got a job at St. John's. And when Tysell, after she played her sophomore season, she had sat out her first year. So she had two years of athletic eligibility. But had she transferred to a Division I school, she would have had to have sit and sat, or sat rather for one year. So she would have only had one year of athletic eligibility left. So she really wasn't interested in going to another Division I school. She wanted to follow this, this assistant coach out, out east, and she started emailing a bunch of Division II schools along the east coast. We were one of them. I was the only school and coach to respond to her email. And you know, through about two months of back and forth, she ends up on our campus. The first year that Tysel uh, played at Felicia, we were in the last year of our um, stay as an NAIA uh, member institution. And for those of you that don't know, the NAIA was a, a gov different governing body than the NCAA, uh, overseeing and governing collegiate athletics. Um, we were just making membership to the CACC, uh, and she, she came to us that first year, and she, that, that was her junior year. Um, she scored over 600 points in that season. She averaged 28 points a game. Um, we had a, a 500 record. We made our conference tournament. We got um, to the conference sem semifinals where we finally lost to Dominican College. Her senior year was now our first year, and she was, I'm sorry, she was a, an NAIA second team um, all region selection. So now we fast forward to her senior year, and I'm gonna, you know, it, it really doesn't do justice just to throw out these stats, but yes, Tysel scores 63 points in a game, and unfortunately we lose that game at home to Dominican College in overtime, 100 to 84. Tysel hits a three point shot at the buzzer to send the game to overtime. And also, curiously, there was no film. Neither team filmed that game. So we've been looking for years to try and find somebody who might have filmed that game. Because Tysel, you know, 61 points, she had also 18 assists in the game. Maybe it was just a crazy game that, that she got. But Tysel scored 40 or more points in her senior year 10 times. She had eight triple doubles. And for those of you who don't know what that means, a triple double is when you get more than 10 points, more than 10 rebounds, more than 10 assists, or 10 steals. She did that 10 times. Um, the other stat that is, you know, kind of mind-boggling when you think about it, 
Um, a thousand point score is such a, um, a highly regarded statistic to get in basketball. It's something that's coveted and celebrated. And Tysel Bozeman in her senior year at Felician College scored a thousand points in one season. I mean, that's, that's like unheard of. She led the entire nation in the NCAA, the entire nation in scoring. We're talking divisions one, two, or three, male or female. She averaged 37 points a game. Um, she, and I say this with all due respect to Coach Faye, if we are fortunate enough to ever get another women's basketball player at Felician College as good as Tysel Bozeman, man, that's, that's gonna be some kid because she was the epitome of what a college athlete would be. I mean, she, she was in the weight room every day and she had such an infectious personality that she made people around her better. Um, the senior, her senior year, in, in March of her senior year, um, we entered her name in the, in the WNBA draft. Um, unfortunately, she was not drafted. The WNBA at the time was going through a, a labor strike and they were going through collective bargaining and they weren't even sure if they were going to have a draft at the time. And she ended up not getting drafted. She played overseas in Turkey and in Finland. Um, she, again, will go down as one of the greatest women's basketball players, student athletes that this college uh, has ever produced. Um, and I'm very proud to say that I answered that email. <laughs> and it's it's um, disappointing that she couldn't be here tonight, but fortunately, um, one of my assistant coaches who was here tonight, who coached uh, alongside me when Tysel was here, um, Mike Muller is going to come up and accept the award for Tysel Wilson. I would like to uh, bring back one of our um, esteemed coaches who I'm very happy to have back in the room tonight. Um, our men's and women's cross country teams at Felician College um, have exemplary records. Um, as Dr. Prisco said, we are proud to say that we have won the CACC championship in sports 13 times, nine of which are men's cross country championships. Our First athletic director, Bob Simmons, was the creator of this dynasty, and this gentleman that I'm about to introduce kept that dynasty rolling. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce and bring back uh, our former men's and women's head cross-country coach, John Brown. <laughs> 